Now you've got the basics down with the beginner video, let's look at more advanced options. As always, consult your doctor to make sure it's right for you. Let's start by taking advantage of resistance levels. The T5 family of cross trainers has 15. At this step, we have something called climb a mountain. I start at a low level and climb up as far as I can, changing the resistance every 20 seconds. Then I climb back down, reducing the resistance every 20 seconds. It's a great workout. There are also five interval programs available on the T5 models. The strategy is to keep your muscles guessing for a more effective workout. I'm going to show you some fun ways to get more out of your new step cross trainer. If you want to work out just your upper body, drop your legs and adjust your resistance levels. If you want to challenge your lower body, just use your legs and let go. For more variety, incorporate weights while doing just legs. Just be sure to lower the new step cross trainer arms so you don't get bumped. If it's okay with your doctor, try taking five minutes off your cross trainer and doing some calisthenics, such as a plank hold, lunges, calf raises, or push-ups. Whatever keeps you moving. I like to do 10 minutes on and five minutes off. Remember to keep your workout fresh, exciting, and interesting. You can learn more at newstep.com.